Oh my gosh, you guys. We actually did it. We, <laughs> it's been a long year. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Vlogmas. This particular situation is about my one year, was it one year post Big Chop? Yeah, yeah, let's get to the details. Okay, so this time last year, wow, it feels crazy saying that, but this time last year I had the sides of my hair completely shaved off i had my undercut in the back that i'd had since 2016 and i guess i just needed to change granted i do a big chop every couple of years i've been doing big chops since i was like 20 years old i asked my fam I asked my closest friends they hated when i do it i get bored but this particular time i was like you know what my hair is crazy. I did every single color I could think of. I did red, I did orange, I did green, I did blue, I did purple. I did everything. I had done this 2019, like the side of it. First of all, do y'all see the, you do, you do. It looks, it, it looks awesome. I know it does. But yeah, I, I'd even done this before. It's. I do everything with my hair, so whatever. But I was like, let me just chop it all off. We've been through the ringer. Let's just see what goes down. And so, and I'm, I'm, I'll insert pictures, I'll insert pictures. So I talked to my boyfriend about it and I was like, what if I chop off my hair? And he was like, don't do it. So what did I do? I took my shears and I did it. And I was like, it will be back. It will grow right back. This time within a year, no one's gonna know that I chopped my hair off. And here we are, back on December 14th, only 2021. And no one, no one remembers that I chopped it off in the first place. Everyone got mad at me for what? <laughs> However, I did do a whole, um, vlogmas about it last year when i was first getting into youtube i did vlogmas and i did cut my hair on screen that was crazy and then i went to my job and my boyfriend like shaped it up i wanted him to go shorter i wanted it to be full on pixie i wanted it to be so short i couldn't grab it that's that's what i was going for um but we went for like an inch. So it was an inch all the way around because the sides were already growing in, the undercut was growing in. And I was like, okay, let me have it the same length as everything else so it can all grow in the same way. And that's what we did. And um, here we are, you guys. I strained it just for y'all because we have come such a long way. Like it was right here stretched out and now it is oh now it is right here so we have come such a long way it's been such a fun year i've been i put on wigs for the awkward phases i've done my satin lined hoodies and head wraps and i still do them okay like i still wear my head wraps all the time not as much with my wigs just because my hair is super super thick so it i'm still too much but you guys i'm just so excited i am halfway to my like full on the longest i'm going to let my hair get to and that's like right here like right above stand like this it's so like my boobs start right here i want it right right above like an inch above the boobs i don't want it any longer than that i the moment my hair all touches like my collarbone is the moment i cut it off because it just it's so much 
um and i know you guys have like seen me wash my hair and stuff and it's like okay but it takes you like five minutes to do your hair right but my hair is so easy to do that it's hard <laughs> like it's so simple that is hard because it don't want to do nothing it don't want to do twist outs it don't want to do braid outs it doesn't like braids in general it my hair does not like me to do anything to it so i be sitting there bored and i do colors and cuts because i'm like what else are we gonna do i'm sorry outside is rude but yeah i which is usually why I straighten it or I color it because it's like I have nothing else to do with my hair. Um, this side of my hair looks real nice. I did this color right before Halloween. I think literally probably two days before Halloween. I wanted it to be blonde and then I just kept going lighter. So here we are. Um, but yeah, I think I have another year to go and my hair will be gold, gold length. Maybe, I I don't know y'all. My hair like, <laughs> my hair just be doing stuff. So I didn't do anything special to it. Every time I, I wash my hair, I shampoo my hair once a week. And when I shampoo it, I also deep condition it. I oil my scalp sometimes. I never wear my hair down when my hair is curly. Um, when it's the first wash day or whatever sure i do that but until then or after that first day after it dries i always put my hair up in a pineapple just because i don't like my hair in my face like ever when it's straight i don't care um and i'm normally doing that but my hair will eventually go up into a bun as well i do not like my hair on my clothes on my face on my neck that's probably what saves it so much because i just don't I don't do nothing to it but yeah this has been so crazy so much fun I've loved every moment of my hair um in every phase I loved it when it was super super short I loved it when it was like that mid short length I loved it at the six month mark um yeah just each time I loved it more and more and more I love my curls they're healthy and they're juicy um I did not intend to color my hair period and then it was like who am I kidding if I can't cut it I'm gonna color it so here we are and I love this I love this when it's curly I love it when it's straight it just part of me um but yeah, we have, we've gotten some length, okay? We have really done this. I use pretty much all Camille Rose products. I think I have a video on Camille Rose products. Um, the leave-in conditioner that I use is Quench by Aunt Jackie's because that's the best one, just hands down. And it works with Camille Rose products, so it's fantastic. Um, but yeah, just once a week, shampoo deep condition and i keep my hair up i love my let me see if i can find one okay here we go i love my you go natural head wraps i love these things y'all they're a little they're slightly pricey but they're worth they're worth every penny it's literally like a little hat like literally a little hat with the satin on the inside it's super super nice and you just pop it on and then wrap it however you want to wrap it and this saves like when you have when you're having like a bad hair day or you just don't feel like messing with your hair you just pop this bad boy on now i'm not gonna lie it hurts your head a little bit they do have sizes but i do feel the elastic i do get headaches if i wear this for too long um but I don't care, I still really like it. But yeah, I just, that is what I do. I'm extremely low maintenance with my hair and I've always been low maintenance with my hair, but I was really this time and here we have it and I love it. And I can't wait to see all of the 
new situations that come with it next. I can't wait to do like a two year situation because this time next year, who knows what my hair is going to look like. Hopefully, it won't be the same length because hopefully I don't cut it anymore. <laughs> but we'll see, we will see. I still have my undercut though. I got my undercut like three months ago because I I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't not have my undercut. But other than that, like you, you would never know because my hair covers it. But yeah, let me just give you guys a little 360 or whatever. And so you can see. Okay, but that concludes this particular episode of Vlogmas. I'm just giving you guys a one year post big chop. <laughs> and yeah, many more years to come. And I'll probably do a lot more different hair videos in the future. You just, y'all let me know what you wanna see me do with my hair without cutting it. <laughs> and I will, I'll do it. We'll see what goes down. <laughs> but thank you guys so, so much for watching. As usual, I love you guys. Thank you all for subscribing and for staying with me and for kicking it with me. <laughs> and happy Vlogmas. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.